sorry about that last thing. But let me just continue the list. So, I ended up talking about how many great ninjas started in this region, or at least became so big after this region. Um, talking about Philadelphia City Finals, which was my third favorite AMW episode. To recap, the last video, which had to accidentally be cut short, 10th place LA qualifying season, uh, not, or season, or sorry, 10th place, sorry, let me read that. 10th place is Atlanta Finals, uh, season 11, Ninth place, Minneapolis, Minneapolis, or, yeah, Minneapolis, oh, shoot, how do I keep, oh, gosh, uh, tenth place, Los Angeles qualifying, oh, God, I messed up again, ten, Atlanta finals, season 11, ninth, Minneapolis qualifying, season 10, Vegas night four, NW, season 11, Los, Los Angeles qualifying, 2018, Atlanta Finals 2016, Philadelphia qualifying uh, season 8, Seattle Tacoma qualifying 2019, Orlando Finals 2015, and Philadelphia Finals 2016. So we are, and then obviously my top two, which we'll reveal in a little bit. So obviously we're talking about how, how stacked this region as a whole was, and it really was. Michael Torres started this region. Najee Richardson started as this region. Started at the, well, Najee didn't start at this region, but he became you know a big ninja name at this region. Rachel Goldstein, Alyssa Beard, and Jesse LeBrack all started on this region. All three of them have made it qualified for Vegas, and all three of them have gotten up the world wall, as well as Michelle Worky, who has done it like three different times. She. Um, obviously, one of the greats. So you got the Fantastic Four, all top, some of the four, four best female competitors of all time, on top of Joe Malowski, Jeff Britton, Ryan Stratus, Jamie Ron, and obviously Najee Richardson, who blew, blew, up, blew off the scene this season after shockingly falling early in Season 7. Obviously, we just said Michael Torres started here, as well as John Alexis Jr., Anthony DeFranco uh, started here, as well as well as Abel Gonzalez actually competed here. Yeah, he did. Chris Wolcheski competed here, as well as Mike Bernardo competed here. I know, it's stacked. It's stacked to the core. So I love this this region. So Philadelphia Finals is my third favorite. Second favorite, Miami, uh, Miami qualifying. 2018. Miami qualifying 2018 was exciting because I love seeing, again, Jesse Graff, Drew Dreschel, Ryan Stratus, and J.J. Woods all compete in the same region, as well as I love seeing the inspirational run out of Gabe Stewart. Um, I think the course is really good. While not being that fast-paced, I, yeah, I don't mind it. I was really good. I love the success at a lot of ninjas, as well as having a shocking fall of J.J. Woods. I love the determination out of Jessica Clayton. There's just so many great things that I love about this episode. Um, moving forward, it's my favorite episode of a w of all time. You guys have heard me talk about this plenty of times. Daytona Finals 2017, Season 9. Why I love this run? Two things. See, number one, seeing Drew Dreschel and Jesse Graff dominate. Um, was was amazing. Seeing Jesse's explosive run making it all the way to the 10th obstacle on top of one run later. Drew Dreschel dominating as well. Making it, up, making it being the only runner to get to the buzzer. And then number two is because that, that has a lot of um, nostalgia for me as that being my first region that I've ever went to. Daytona Finals, I went to the live taping. You you saw, you could if you watched the episode you you could have saw me a few times. I, they didn't do any like, close ups where I was sitting, but you could tell like they've done some shots where you can fully establish my face. I sat right next to the host stand, so you have the work wall, then the host stand, and I was to the right of the host stand. So I was like, here's the host stand, here's there, 
and then I was right there. So I was like the stand right here. So I was like, had a perfect view of between that, you know how you go up the wall and there's like a little bridge to get, and then you go down and then up the salmon ladder? There's a TV like here, like this is the salmon ladder. You go down, so picture this. You, you run up the wall, you go there, you go down, You obviously you do the salmon ladder, but once you get up the wall, you know how you walk across the top, right? under on the side there's a tv right there so i was able to watch like the tv and that's where christine did her interviews and so that was really cool that was that was just so, such a cool experience meeting a lot of ninjas and so on top of it just being one of my favorite episodes based on seeing some of my favorite ninjas do really good like jujesh like jj woods jesse graff kevin carbone and travis rose and so that was all exciting some real exciting stuff and every time I watch it, I just love it. I just love it. So it's so many reasons to love the episode, and that 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 are obviously personal to me. Stay tuned for videos coming right at you.